found something that was quiet. The lighting is not the best. The camera set up. We are sitting on top of a lantern. The lantern looks somewhat like this. <laughs> so if you saw my setup right now, you would be like, girl, you live in foul. But the thing is, we are getting it done. We are in my guest room. So crazy that I even say I have a guest room when I live in New York. I used to have apartments that were like this size because I always lived in small studios. But anyway, here is the top. Is this the top? Wait a minute, what is this? I have this obsession with ugly shoes. Like they're not ugly as in dated. They're ugly as in trendy slash ugly but will grow on you type of situation, if you know what I mean. Potty people, what is up? So here's the deal. I'm trying to do a My Teresa haul. I got quite a few things. Half of them, oh, why do I have this? <laughs> why is this shower cap right here? I'm in the bathroom, as you can see. The house is a hot mess. We are doing construction and there is not one place I can film because there is stuff everywhere. The floors, etc., are full of paper. I'll show you a little bit later when I'm using the mirror, but I was going to try and hide in the bathroom just to do a little unboxing, show you what I got, show you what I keep wearing from this box over and over and over again. So I have a room downstairs. Maybe we can go down there and I will show you a few things. The lighting is not that great, but at least we'll be alone. You, me, us. So let's go down there. Let's take a few things and uh, let's do this unboxing. Okay, here we are. I found a room in the house that is semi-quiet that we are not going to hear construction workers. Well, at least I hope not. We are in my guest room. So crazy that I even say I have a guest room when I live in New York. I used to have apartments that were like this size because I always lived in small studios. But anyway, that's a story for another time, honey. So today's video is going to be all about the stuff that I got from my Teresa. A little bit of a luxury haul, not overly luxury. There are some really cute pieces in here, but I have not tried them on except for two or three pieces. Two of them being two blazers, Acme Studio blazers that I literally cannot stop wearing all over Instagram. I just recently went to California, wore this black blazer every day, so I've already gotten my money's worth, and I know it's going to be around for a while. So let's jump into this. And we can kind of try on things afterward because we're gonna need a mirror. And the only mirror I have is close to here. It's probably in the foyer area. So first things first, I got these distressed denim jeans by Girlfriend. Look at this. They're all distressed in the knee. I really, really like these. I feel like distressed denim is making a huge comeback. And I really like the wash on them. I think the wash is fantastic. The only thing is, these are like a more relaxed tapered leg and they are a mid-rise. I sized up in the denim. I'm not sure why. Have you ever seen people like walk around and the, the denim is so tight? that the, the piece of the thigh is like coming through the distressed area. I think that's what I was thinking when I bought them. However, now looking at them, I don't think like the crotch area or the waist area is going to fit because we all know I'm shaped like a pencil at the bottom. So I'm gonna need my jeans to hug me just a bit, but we will try them on to see what they look like. And then coming in hot is a dress that I also have in green. This is by Frankie Shop. I really like Frankie Shop and I really like these 80s shoulder pads. I'm just a really big shoulder pad person. The whole muscle tee, muscle dress situation. My dad used to wear so many muscle tees sans the shoulder pads, but I just think that this is so cute. I did my first YouTube short. I did it on how to style the green Frankie Shop dress. I just love the style of this dress that I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it in white as well. And I just think it's easy breezy and it has pockets like, Pockets are just my jam. This would look really cute with a pair of maybe like gladiator sandals or something along those lines. So next up is, why do I feel like I got nothing? There's actually two things in here I'm not even supposed to have in here. I think I was using this box as storage earlier. Okay, so I also got this bathing suit by Attico. 
and when I purchased it, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not usually one to wear too many bikinis. If I do wear a bikini, it has to be it's like super tiny because I don't know. I, I don't know what my reasoning is. I was shopping late at night and I saw this situation and I was like, hmm, this could be a vibe. So it's like braided, has like this braiding situation here. All right, so this is like a very teeny tiny bottom and it's braided here on the sides which I really like. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not trying this on for you guys today because I'm looking a little pale and I somehow gained some quarantine uh, weight that I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Seriously, I just feel like I just need to get in shape just a tiny bit more and then I promise I will be happy to try that on. Here is the top. Is this the top? Wait a minute, what is this? So the top is also braided. I really like the top a lot. And I think that the color is really nice and it's just a really pretty fun color. I will take a picture of the model so you can just get an idea of what it looks like. So for the bottoms, I got a small and then actually in the top, usually when I have like a two piece set, I need a larger top because I got a little bit of boobies. The only thing is, is that I have a small back. My back is usually like a 32. So I need it to have like a little bit more in the bust area, but still a small back and it never works. So I hope this fits. If it doesn't, I'm not sure if this is final sale or what. I'm pretty sure I'm assuming it is final sale. I needed some really cute everyday biker shorts and I'm gonna try these on for you and I'm gonna tell you why I was a tad bit disappointed. This is the one thing that I did try on. These weren't really fitting me the way I was hoping to but I would still love to try these on for you. These are by Wardrobe NYC and I really like the material a lot. It's kind of like a, not neoprene, but it just has a very strong um, material that feels like it would kind of snatch you. And if I'm wearing biker shorts, I need to feel, I need to feel snatched. You know what I mean? Like I need a good snatch. Oh, and then I saw this bodysuit. This is by Low Classic. I can't remember if it was on the model or not, but I really thought it was a really nice bodysuit. I like the fabric a lot. Take a peek at that. And then I liked the details on the sleeves. It's just a really nice top that's a little bit different from what I'm used to seeing. So I will try this on. Hopefully it fits as well as I am envisioning in my head. Then we're gonna keep the party going. I got a pair of shoes. When I saw these, I was like, oh, these are cute. These are Birkenstock, but they are a little bit different. I love Birkenstocks. I just, I have this obsession with ugly shoes. Like they're not ugly as in dated or they're ugly as in trendy slash ugly, but will grow on you type of situation, if you know what I mean. Also, Birkenstocks are really comfortable and there's something you could just really slide your feet in. Oh, they feel like clouds, look at these. All right, so this is the white leather at the top and then black at the bottom. I'm gonna try these on. I was gonna try these on upstairs, but first of all, they look, they look huge, <laughs> okay? But the rubber bottom, oh, I think that they might be too big, guys. I got a 39, I'm usually a 38, but in flats, I'm like, you know what I mean? These look, if I size down, my toes might hang off the top area. So I have, this is my, maybe I'll keep these. Let's see. Can you, I'm trying to get at a good angle here without falling off the <laughs> Let's keep that between us. Okay, sorry about that. I lost my composure. Now that I'm looking down at them, I look like a dinosaur. These are not what I was envisioning either. They are very comfortable. You know what? Let's go try this stuff on. Oh, I also have two blazers. Before we try those stuff on, let me show you these two blazers. Okay, so I have this one which is the acne blazer and it's super oversized. This is the smallest size that they have 
and it is still pretty big. It is a size 32. It comes with these shoulder pads and it's just a very like boxy oversized. It looks like you have borrowed maybe your husband's blazer. And then I got it in a pin striped blue, which is upstairs in my suitcase, but I'm going to grab it out and we are gonna try it on. So what I will do is I will try on the denim and the bodysuit first, and then I think we could just add on the blazers, etc. So I'm gonna try everything on except the bathing suit. But wait till you see what these Birkenstocks look like on my feet. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a no for you guys. I really don't think you're gonna like them. Oh, hey, they tighten. Huh. All right, be right back. Okay, here is the shirt bodysuit that I tried on. Do you see what I mean about the sleeve area? I do like that it is a little bit different. However, it's not translating the way I wanted it to kind of fit. Also, I need to change my bra. The jeans, again, I got the wrong size. I should have size down to a 24. These are 25 and they are really baggy here. Also on the back, you can tell just how big they are, but I do overall, I do like them. And I think I will probably just reorder them in a, another size. So let's try it on with a blazer and see how the look is. The blazer I'm definitely keeping because it's been on rotation and I literally cannot stop wearing it. Okay, and then here is the top that I was talking about with the shoulder pads. I mean, they are really big, but wait, <laughs> wait, come closer. Wait till you see the shoes. The shoes are a no, okay? Let's just say the shoes are a no. Let's just go ahead. They kind of look like house shoes, right? These shoes are not doing it for me. Also, my legs are ashy, so don't judge me. Like, we're just getting real raw and personal around here. I got ashy legs. I got construction going on in my house. This is a real try on because all the tags are still on everything. So again, I think that this dress is just like a no fuss situation. It looks cute with gladiators or a pair of sneakers. Let me put it on with the blazer so you can get an idea for what it's looking like. But with the shoes, the shoes, I'm gonna have to say no, guys. I already know what the comments are about to look like. We're about to get rolling and laughing. It's a no on the shoes. Here it is with the blazer on. I was hoping that this was going to be a little bit shorter. We both know I love myself a mini, but that's okay. We got this little layered look. I went ahead and threw on these like $13 sunnies from Amazon. They are my favorite, by the way. I have to link these for you guys because these look luxe, right? It's like, you know, I love a good high and low. As much as I love luxury, I love myself something that looks expensive, but it's cheap. So El Cheapos. These El Cheapos are really good, good staple. Um, and then I just threw it on with a pair of like thong sandal situations that I already had. Let's get these out of the way because we already decided these are enough. These sandals on, which are really cute. We won't get too close to the toe. Actually, my toes are done. It's just the overall fact that my toes are shaped like monkey claws, but that's not a big deal, all right? We all can't be perfect. Put your hand in the pocket. I think it's a cute vibe and it's an inexpensive dress. You can eat what you want, go to barbecues, no one will know. It's a cute look. The last thing that I'm trying on are these shorts. These are the biker shorts. Remember when I said I was a little bit disappointed? I kind of didn't want like that whole, I don't know if you guys can see that because I have on sunglasses, but you see this. I mean, I know we're getting a little personal here, but I didn't want it to kind of be so defined. Like we all know I have a I don't need to like go outside and tell everybody, you know what I mean? I just needed to be more discreet. But I do like it when I have on the blazer with it. And then I just put on this crop champion shirt that I got from Amazon. I can link that as well. And I just left the sandals on, but you could wear them with a pair of dad uh, sandals or you could do a, a regular <laughs> 
Birkenstock. Not the Birkenstocks I have here, unless you like them. No judgments if you like them. They could be a vibe. I just, I don't think that I can pull them off. But overall, um, let me just, maybe, wait a minute, maybe I, maybe I do like these. Maybe I was just standing at a, a weird angle. I don't know, what are you guys thinking? Should I keep these or should I? return these. That is it for my Teresa Hall. The blue acne jacket, I might have left it in California, but I do have tons of footage of it because again, can't stop wearing my stuff. But if you guys wanna see more hauls, definitely comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are new here and I will see you guys in the next video.